bonjour welcome back to my youtube channel i hope everybody's doing well um so am i zoomed in oh my god do i start every video saying am i zoomed in i'm not change your angle today i am going to london i'm going there to meet my manager um we're gonna go to h&m showroom so that i can choose some new in bits to show you guys then i've booked myself into the londoner it's a new hotel in london obviously um it looks amazing i really wanted to stay there so i thought Do you know what i'm gonna treat myself oh my god the reason i'm staying is because tonight i'm going to the ghd christmas party um this is my first christmas party so i'm very excited uh i don't have anything to wear so i'm going into london with no outfit options and hopefully gonna find something and probably like zara or mango will have something i'm just gonna take my heels and my bag and then yeah hopefully find something um so yeah that's what i'm up to today and it's the first time in a little while that i've done something fun so obviously i thought i would vlog half an hour it's currently 7 a.m i'm going to leave at 7 40 and get the 8 18 train um and I'll probably catch up with you guys. Actually, do you know what? I'll show you my outfit first. This is a new mirror that I got from Maid. It arrived yesterday um, because the mirror that I had here was like really small and it was too short to show you like outfits of the day in vlog and on, on spit it out and on stories. So I got this one. I really like arch mirrors and you know, I just thought it was really cool. So yeah, I'll link it below if anyone's interested. Uh, but yeah, I'll get ready and show you my outfit. Should we do a little transition? Oh. <laughs> That's obviously not right. I tried to like block it by going like that. It's meant to be like that. Okay, here's my outfit of the day. It's mainly black, so you can't really see it because I need to wear this blazer this evening. I thought I'll just wear it now because my suitcase was so full. So I've got black leather trousers on and then knee-high boots. These are from Naked Fashion and my trousers are Zara. I've got this jumper on, which is old Zara. My blazer's mango, and then this scarf is a totem. Tote me, totem. Somebody please correct me in the comments because I think it's totem, isn't it? And then this is my Acne Studios um, bag, which is literally the best thing that ever happened to me. You can fit so much in it, and I use it every time I go up to London. And then I've got my suitcase where are they from again, these suitcases? Uh, Antler. I've got the whole set. If you're looking for suitcases, really recommend these. And then this is just something I need to return to Mango for my mother. So first off, I'm at the H&M um, showroom and I was going to just show some bits that I'm trying on. First thing is this cardigan. They've got matching joggers as well. I saw this online to be fair and I thought it looked really nice. Um, it's very soft. It looks as though it's going to be itchy, but it actually isn't. And I've got this on in a medium, which I'm enjoying with my leather trousers, but I'll show you the um, joggers as well. This is the matching joggers, and I think it looks really cute. They're a bit big for me, but I've rolled up the top and the bottoms. <laughs> hey. um, I think it looks really cute. I'm picturing myself Christmas morning in this outfit, and I really like it. I think it's the cable knit that's giving me that vibe, but yeah. It's really soft, recommend. We'll link in the um, description box all of this stuff. Now I've got this knitted dress on and I actually really like it. I think it's very flattering. Um, the lighting in here is doing nothing. It just shines onto my tummy. <laughs> it's really annoying because I'm looking at it in person. And I'm like, yeah, it looks nice. And then I look on here and just picture that the lighting wasn't like that. I think it's very nice. Um, and I've got it on with my boots that I'm wearing today, which I think looks cool. Um, I'm literally doing this no favours. It's the lighting. It's so nice in person though. In real life it actually looks really nice. Um, it's very like fitted and tight and I'm thinking chunky boots, blazer over the shoulders would look really cool. I'll take it home and style it properly at home. It's a nice colour too. I've just arrived at my hotel. Oh my god it's so nice i would say this is the best not that i've stayed in loads of hotels in london but definitely out of the ones i have stayed at this is the best hotel by a mile service wise like it was just 
so good um the room's so nice everything like around the hotel is so nice it's in such a good location there's a champagne bar with live music every night the restaurant smells so good the spa looks beautiful like honestly if you want to come to a nice little getaway in London, I really recommend the Londoner. Um, I'll give you a quick room tour before I like mess any of it up. By the way, this is not gifted. I just really like it. Not that you can really see anything yet, but you walk in and here's the little like vanity unit. I just love the style of everything. This is one of those like Japanese toilets. The seat heats up and stuff. All of like the artwork and everything is just so nice. And then this is the shower room. And there's a bath in here too. And the products look really nice, what are they? And then in here, I really like appreciate a hotel that has good products and stuff in it and in here you've got a dyson hairdryer a steamery steamer the robes look so nice and fluffy and so do these like proper slippers i'm just so impressed and then in here's the like mini bar and tea and coffee and stuff i love that kettle i want that kettle uh, coffee machine, uh, safe and mini bar. And what do we have in the mini bar? I appreciate a good mini bar. We've got... Hmm. Hmm. Not overly impressed by this mini bar, to be honest. At least it's cold, though. I feel like in summer it's not even cold. Anyway, this is the main kind of room. Um, nice big bed. I feel like that... I think it's a... It seems bigger than a king size because I have a king size at home and it's not as big as that. Um, this is the king room, by the way. They upgraded me. Um, I did actually book the queen room, which would be smaller, obviously. I'm just taking so much inspo from this room. I love it. Um, and the, the view is really nice in this room as well. We've got the window open. We've got some little binoculars so I can see the view. And... Yeah, nice little seating area there. And there's the bed. And that's me. That's me for the night. I can't wait to go in the spa. Um. Anyway, I am literally like the hungriest I've ever been in my whole entire life. So I think what I'm going to do is walk towards Covent Garden um, and pick up something quick for lunch and then come back here and just like chill for a bit, get ready. Lily's going to come here to get ready, I think. And then we're going to go get some dinner. Um, because the GHD event isn't dinner, it's just cocktails. So we're going to eat first. Otherwise, that might be a bit of a disaster. Hello. I've had a wonderful afternoon just chilling in this room, to be honest. I had a bath. Um, and then I've been watching daytime TV. <laughs> um, and now, I've chosen my outfit. I'm wearing... Let me show you. This is what I've decided on. I got this leather skirt from um, And Other Stories. So I'm wearing that with this kind of, this just velvet top. It's got shoulder pads, which I think looks like nice shape-wise with a tighter skirt. And then I got these boots. I want to wear them, but I don't know if they're dressy enough um, for the outing. And then I'm using this bag, which as you probably know, belongs to Nadia. She lent me it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm wearing. But if I don't wear these boots, then I've got some just like plain black heels to wear and I've got a blazer to put over my shoulders. I just need to do my COVID test because um, we need to do a lateral flow. I'm getting so confused with it though. Like, does anyone else just get really confused and overwhelmed with all these like tests and forms and whatnot? So yeah, I need to do that and then obviously need to do my makeup. Um, and yeah, me and Lily have decided that we're gonna have dinner in the hotel that I'm staying at because the restaurant looks nice and it's just way easier to just stay in the hotel and then we'll go out for the event. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Stan, it's currently only half past four. However, we're going for dinner at half past six. So I haven't got that much time really. Right, I'm ready to go. This is my outfit on. 
sorry I look like an American footballer in this mirror but and the velvet looks really weird okay shut up no I like it it looks nice the leather skirt is and other stories I've already told you where everything's from actually this is just um it on whoa hello I'm back from London now and uh, let's just say we should never speak of that night I was so drunk someone's bringing their bin in yeah i was drunk i there was a tequila bar and it only takes me like one or two tequilas to be like not a normal level of drunk and that's what happened and we had like a bottle of wine at dinner as well and then champagne when we got there and like oh it just went very wrong for me and then i was being sick the next day in the hotel um so it ended up being like such a waste of money because the reason i thought oh i'm gonna treat myself is because i was like i'll spend the next day in the spa but I didn't feel well enough to go in the spa, so I just wanted to come home and I was in the spa for all of about half an hour. But anyway, on a more positive note, I went to return, because for like the outfit that I needed to wear in London, I bought loads of options and just tried them on in the hotel room. And then last night I went and returned them and then came out with even more stuff. So I've got a bit of a Zara haul here for you. So, the first thing I picked up is this stripey sweater. Sweater? Am I American? I think it is a sweater though, isn't it? Because it's got a zip. Anyway, this jumper, I thought it was going to look really nice just with a pair of jeans and some Converse and a coat on, just like for a very casual, comfy look. I got it in medium, so it's nice and baggy. I just really like um, stripes at the moment, and also I love these like zippy um jumpers as you probably have seen i wear them all the time and this was a combination of the two which i thought was nice it's not a particularly like thick or good quality jumper to be honest it's very naff i would say is the word however i do really like it but it just annoys me how like it's not got a cuff and that kind of thing but it is it's fine it'll do it'll do a turn as my mom says um so that's the first thing i got in fact, my mum didn't say it would do a turn. She said, that's horrible. Thank you, mum. Anyway, the next thing I got is these leather trousers. Again, not the best quality. But Zara's not, is it? Like, it's very rare that you find good quality in Zara, in my opinion. However, these are a really good fit. So, if you like the Zara mum jeans, which I do. I live in them. Um, and they're, like, one of the only jeans that actually fit me well. Um, and I saw that they bought them out in black leather now, so I purchased these. They're very, very soft, and they're like a really nice in-between skinny and straight, so I thought that would be handy. Do you know what I'll do? I'll try these on after I've shown you in the mirror so that you can see properly. Um, I sized down to a six in these. Uh, but yeah, they're really soft, and I think they'll be very handy, because they only have either skinny or very baggy. Um, and then I got these heels because I don't have like a pair of um, black heels that I really, really love, but I have like white ones that I wore all summer. But anyway, I picked up these. I love a square toe. I thought, I mean, they don't look that comfy to be honest, but the heel's not too um, thin. So I'm hoping that they're gonna be all right. Um, and then I thought like the strappiness of them would be cool as well. Um, and then, I got this coat which I am blooming obsessed with. I think this is so cool. It's this houndstooth um, collarless kind of jacket. It's quilted inside. So actually this is good quality. I think if you shop from TRF Zara, awful quality. If you shop from like the proper women's section, then it's really good. Um, again, I got this in a medium, I'm fairly sure I did. And yeah, it's quilted inside, so it's quite warm. And I just think it's really chic and I don't have anything like it. So I picked that up. And then in H&M, uh, they had these for 50% off. So I thought I may as well pick them up and try them. Um, I haven't actually put them on yet, but I will do in a minute. They are genuine leather, leather leggings, which is something that I've wanted for a really, really long time now. Um, these are very, very like buttery, soft leather. Uh, they've got a bit of a stretch to them. Um, they look high-waisted. I think they just look like they're going to be really good. Um, they're £199, but as I said, they have 50% off. And then when I was buying them as well yesterday, they had 15% off if you've got the app, and I do. So I think I got them for like 
80 pounds or something so it was quite the bargain bargain bar bargain yeah so i'm happy with them hopefully i got them in a six because um i find that with leather it only ever gets like looser and baggier so i thought i'll go as small as possible and this was the smallest size they had fingers crossed i can actually get them on so i've got on the um h and m genuine leather leggings they're a fab they're a fabulous fit i'm really really happy they were quite difficult to get on because i've got six and i'm simply not a size six but now that they're on they feel really nice they're not really really skinny on the ankle like they have got a bit of room there but i quite like it yeah i'm really happy i know the lighting's so terrible right now but i think they're great and then this is the um zara mum fit ones i wish it was better lighting but yeah quite self-explanatory but they're a really good fit i'm happy and then i'll pop on the coat if i was gonna style this properly and not just like chuck it on to show you i would put a cream roll neck on um actually i'm posting a reel wearing that so i'll put that on screen and show you but this is the coat i think it's really chic and you could definitely like have it done up and wear it with a pair of heels to be more dressy it looks awful with this outfit but if i put the other thing on screen you'll see my vision for it and then this is the sweatshirt and i would just style it as i said so casually a pair of trainers wool coat over the top maybe like a little beanie hat or something and i think it's really cute it's very comfy a parcel has just arrived and it's massive and i don't know what it is so i thought let's open this together i'm just gonna pop you it's a nice angle you do a massive bread knife that fit into this I'm very intrigued. What? Oh my god. I'm really confused. Where has this come from? Well, I think I know who sent me this. Let me show you. I have a wreath. It's a fresh wreath. Whoa. <gasps> That's empty now, thank God. <gasps> this is my first Christmassy parcel. So it's from Mint Velvet. Let's get into this, shall we? Oh no, I really feel like this wreath has died a bit on its way to me. I need to put it in some water or something. Um, excuse me, how do I get this off? Because it's got like apple on it and everything. Um, I have to get this off, but anyway, I'll show you what else is in the parcel. Oh my god, this hot water bottle. Sorry, this angle is awful, but we'll start with it. Hot water bottle that is so soft. I think this is like a box full of like christmas gift ideas which is exciting dear olivia we hope you love your mint velvet luxury care package filled with as many relaxed i don't know what that says treats from our brand new gifting range as we could squeeze in all designed to make this season cozy sparkly and joyful much love mint velvet thank god i ran out of candles this morning i literally have candles on 24 7 and i ran out this morning so we've got a mint velvet candle it came in this box show it probably. sorry all the excitement i forgot to show so this is the box i can smell it already it smells amazing it smells really like clean it says it's basil and patchouli Mm, gorgeous so that's on the front lovely this box is very me like very all of like the things that i like okay we've got cute hat pom pom on the top 
matching little half mittens and then a little wash bag quickly, like so and then inside we've got some scrunchies an eye mask sleep mask whatever they're called i think this is some jewelry oh this is nice actually like a nice chunky gold chain and that's supposed to be earrings but there's only one in there well if there were two in there but there's one <laughs> i got my wreath hanger out and i've put her up looks so cute fa la 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 I was just editing back my vlog and realised that I never said bye. I just finished by singing Christmas tunes to my wreath. But um, yeah, I just wanted to come on and sign the vlog off. And also just wanted to have a chat about content that is coming up for Black Friday. So, ooh, hi me. Um, I've done orders from H&M and ASOS and I'm going to have hauls going live. Um during cyber week uh when the deals are live obviously i don't know when they're going to be but i can kind of like judging from what happened last year i'm gonna try and like hazard a guess um i'm gonna film also like what i think are the best buys or like best things to buy during cyber week um what else am i doing loads of content over on my blog as well if you don't already shop via my blog then definitely check that out because i'm always posting edits on there um i will be posting loads on my insta stories and like to know it and stuff as well um but anyway if there's anything else that you think would be handy oh i forgot i'm also going to do like a home updates um video this week because i got a big order from the white company and also some bits from h&m home so i thought that would be good to get up um as there will probably be a white company sale um so yeah that's my plan let me know if there's anything else that you were hoping to see from me um oh yeah i've got gift guides up on my blog as well but anyway i don't want to overwhelm everyone with content because but just kind of like pick out from that what you want to watch i guess anyway yeah just to let you know that, that i will be much more active on here over the next few weeks so definitely subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of that content and hopefully guys i will see you in my next video